All right, we are picking cars finally. That Jeep's good. So we got a whole selection. We rented with Fox and Fox sucked. That was horrible. We got here and they added on all this stuff. So we just canceled our thing and we're with Enterprise right now, which got us in and out in like 10 minutes with a brand new reservation, same price or cheaper. And we get to pick our car out of like 20 cars. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna get loaded up and hit the road. I think everybody's ready for some food. Absolutely. <laughs> On this trip, we're in Miami's South Beach of Florida as part of a trip down to Key West and then on to the mysterious Coral Castle. Join us and don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe. Well, we made it. We only had a couple meltdowns. <laughs> Hotel Clinton was seriously cool. The lobby was decked out with modern furnishings and the staff was super welcoming from the moment we stepped through the door. The room itself was fantastic, really spacious and comfy with the huge bed that I could practically swim in. And the view from my window was insane. It would have been nice if the weather wasn't so bad though. So we got here right when uh, Tropical Storm Nicole hit and uh, got ourselves some umbrellas, venturing out for food. Go get some dinner. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna get a little worse before it gets better. But it looks like it's letting up a little right now. The food in us, we're getting seafood. Well, we couldn't have timed it better, right? With the weather, everything is dead down here on uh, Ocean Drive and South Beach because the rain keeps coming and going. But uh, we just had an amazing meal. What do you guys think? Oh, oh it's awesome. absolutely delicious. All right, had the grouper. Yeah, it was delicious. The crab, it was awesome. I had the steak, the lobster tail. What'd you get? Uh, I had the snapper. It's awesome. That's some of the best food I've had in a while. This is us, the morning after our first night. We're going to get breakfast. We're perpetually stuck in, Should can we make it without getting wet? It's like raining off and on, so. But we're driving out to Key West, it's almost, I don't know, it'll probably take us like three or four hours. Get some breakfast in us and uh, head back out. <laughs> The drive from Miami to the Florida Keys is a must do for anyone visiting Southern Florida. It's a great road trip that takes you through some of the most beautiful scenery in the state. It's been a bit of an adventure this morning, I'm trying to find some food, I'm trying to get away. <laughs> but we found a Cracker Barrel and we're halfway to Key West. Further down the road, palm trees get taller, the air gets fresher and the ocean comes into view. Finally, after four hours, we arrived at the southernmost point of the drive, Key West. The drive from Miami to the Florida Keys was a great experience and you won't regret it. The Margaritaville Beach House, wow, what a great place. It sits right on the beach the ocean views are breathtaking and you can hear the waves crashing from your room. The Margaritaville Beach House has a restaurant and bar, a pool, hot tub, and fitness center. The rooms were spacious, with TVs on every wall. The place even had bunk beds. The beds were huge with a huge bathroom. 
Overall, I highly recommend the Margaritaville Beach House in Key West. It's a great place to unwind, soak up the sun, and enjoy all that Key West has to offer. Destroy the shuffleboard, about to happen. I haven't done a check-in. We're walking around here on Key West and actually having a really good time and it's a Wednesday night. Um, it's a lot of fun. Really feel like we should have uh, come here instead of South Beach. Feel like the vibe was cooler. I'm trying to figure out where we're supposed to go. We've been drinking all night. It was a good night in Key West. Uh, I gotta say we like Key West. There, all right, we, we figured it out we're, where we're going. Ross went home early. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Well, we had a wild time last night, a lot of fun, and now we are gonna be riding these around the island here for a little bit today. Gearing up with some sunscreen and uh, about to hit the road. It's a fun little uh, little town here. Ride some Yeah, see what we can get into. That thing is massive. You gotta try to catch him. He can sense it. We are making our way around Key West. We're at the Key West AIDS Memorial and there's like a pier that goes all the way out really long and uh, we wanted to walk that. So we're just kind of riding these mopeds around and checking out the city, which is really cool. Um, but to get off to this pier, you walk through all this here, this whole memorial set up. And, uh, and then this pier goes way out. So we'll go ahead and get out there and see some views. I'm here at 3D Mini Me in Key West. The whole process was super simple. They make uh, uh, these little guys here with all kinds of different sizes. I picked this guy, Let's see right there. And uh, super simple, I haven't even been here 10 minutes. Scan me in and then they are gonna be mailing it to me. Guys, thank you so much. This is a really cool experience, I appreciate it. If you guys are in Key West, you gotta check this place out. It's a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to putting this on my desk. <laughs> All right, guys, see ya.
So we are on our last full day here and uh, we're just getting up. I'm, I think I'm the only one up right now. Um, but we're going out to film the Car Coral Castle today. I'm really excited about this. Um, this is one of the places that I really wanted to see here in the States. And so we'll be heading out here pretty soon. I think we're probably gonna get some caffeine in first and uh, uh, get these other guys up, uh, but looking forward to it. Alright guys, I am here at the Coral Castle and we're about to go in here. This is a place I've been interested in uh, checking out for a long time. Um, we are right at the entrance and it's not a huge site, but I'm really excited to go in here. You can see stuff from outside peeking over the tops here. Uh, so we're going to get in here and start exploring, give you guys some more information as we go through. The Coral Castle is such a crazy place. Its rock structures are made entirely out of massive coral blocks, some of which weigh up to 30 tons. It was built by a Latvian immigrant named Edward Leedskalnen just a hundred years ago. He claimed to have discovered the secrets of the ancient Egyptians. Leedskalnen claimed that he had discovered the secrets of the ancient Egyptians and had learned how to move heavy objects using only simple machines and the principles of magnetism. He worked alone using only hand tools at night using lanterns and spent over 28 years constructing the Coral Castle. Despite his claims, no one has been able to figure out exactly how he was able to move the massive coral blocks that make up the Coral Castle. But it's obvious there's some correlation as to how the ancient sites around the world were built. However, some people do believe that he used cranes or other heavy equipment. He charged 10 cents for admissions and gave tours of the castle explaining how he had constructed it. Lee Scowden died in 1951, leaving behind a mysterious legacy and a lot of unanswered questions. It remains a testament to one man's determination and ingenuity and a source of wonder that really makes you think. Well, it's been a good trip. It has. It was we, a lot of fun. It was. We did a lot of cool stuff. I think Key West, a trip back to Key West to enjoy for yeah. more than one day is in our future. Absolutely. I agree. And uh, Coral Castle was cool. It was, it was. But we got an early flight, so sayonara.